Hey, what's up guys, Torge Pro here, and I wanna share with you what I experienced with Windows 11. So if you have watched my previous video about two weeks ago, I upgraded my Dell XPS 13 from Windows 10 to the beta version of Windows 11. So I've been using this laptop, which is the beta version of Windows 11, for the past two weeks or more. I use Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe After Effects. I do mostly browsing the internet using the Google browser, and at the same time using all the Office suite of Microsoft, okay? So, let's go ahead. I'm going to share with you those things that I found out. This Dell XPS 13 that I have here is touchscreen, and I wanna to focus first on the touchscreen side of Windows 11 because it is one of the things that I observed that they are trying to focus on the touchscreen uh, space so that they can capture more devices on touchscreen. So let's open this one. As you can see, even the graphics of this, there are a bit of animation if you're trying to uh, maximize and then minimize. You can also drag this one like that and you can see that blur effect. And then it goes that you have the blur effect as well. I did not configure anything else here. Those are merely default settings and I believe you will have some options here. I didn't really went into the settings. I just used Windows 11 just after the up upgrade and I did not configure any settings, okay? So as you have seen a while back, you can resize the windows if you want to, like, like this, you see? Okay, and some of the things that I've seen, it's like you're yeah, really navigating to the touchscreen tablet kind of things because if you try to slide here, there's a shortcut where you can see feeds and you can directly search the internet here, opens up with the default browser, which is your Bing. Another one here, if you swipe your fingers from left to right, then the um, notifications will show up here. Okay, another thing that I've seen is this, um, this is with Windows 10, but it is easily accessible with that icon. You can press that one and you can add more desktop if you want to be multitasking kind of person and you can just open them one by one. Yeah, if this was touch screen, you can see you can easily maximize and minimize with this one. More on the things that I have seen was if you're trying to do touch screen, um, for example, you don't have a mouse, you wanna do something with this one, like open with something else. Of course, we know Windows like double click or right click open something, but you go ahead and uh, double click this one. But if you try to press it a little bit longer and then release it, the options will show up. That's the same scenario when you are browsing the internet. So for example, I'm going to browse, um, I'm going to go to um, YouTube, then try to maximize this one. I wanna do something here like, um, open this one in another tab, I'll go ahead and uh, give it a longer press and it will give me the option like that. If you're just going to press it like, like press it like that, then open it right away. But if you're going to do like, press it for a bit and then release it, you know, have the options right just here. So those are the things that are very nice with Windows 11 and yeah, like what I've said, the touch, screen feature that you can have is there. So, very nice. These features are with Windows 10 already, but it kind of makes sense right now when you do it because you can just do and touch this one and resize this. I'm touching this one right now and doing a resize. Uh, maximize this one and then there is a quick option here, just mouse over to this icon, the minimize, maximize option, then you can go ahead and quickly choose which one you wanna use. So if you want to divide that into four, you can go ahead and divide it into four. Um, but one of the things that I didn't like was, for example, I'm opening Premiere. If I try to drag something like my workflow is, if I'm going to edit something like I wanna add a photo in my Premiere, I go ahead and drag this one mouse over that Premiere icon down there, which is open, it wouldn't let me and I'm used to doing this one when I was in Windows 10. So <laughs> what you can do is just minimize this one, make sure that Premiere is open, and then you drag it there. And this applies to every program that you're going to do. Uh, Photoshop, Word, even like, like dragging something into the timeline or let's say, um, try to open Word. You wanna drag something, it wouldn't let you open that app. So I'm going to open that one. 
just simply like I want to drag this one to Word but it wouldn't let me drag that photo so I'm just going to open Word minimize this one probably drag it there like that then it's going there so I didn't like that um, the other thing I found out here is when you right click into a folder let's just say this one folder and you want to do some of the things that the options that you have here like rename you don't have it you need to click on show more options then the default option of the windows versions will appear like this which gives you another step on doing it so now even here i mentioned this one on my earlier video it's a little bit different because they kind of hide some of those options you need to click more options here so that you can you can see more of those all in all i didn't have any major problem with windows 11 in my experience only those things that affected my workflow like dragging a photo into a microsoft word or premiere or photoshop that requires you to do some steps and looking for some of the options i didn't have any blue screen um, i just had something before on the, just after i updated to windows 11 i experienced that it's a little bit buggy or how do you say it bloat bloated but when i had several updates i had kind of three windows 11 updates it kind of fixed the issue and i didn't have that uh, bloaty kind of feeling when i'm using windows 11 so maybe later on when they're going to come up with the official release maybe most of the things that we are going to experience are stable by the time and then it will continue to improve but right now everything is okay for me and i hope this video has been informative for you guys if you are not yet subscribed help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers hope to see you in my next video bye bye signing out